Right, both guys look ready. Both guys are up for it. Bit of a lucky rest there. It's only going to do something for the fans there to give them a bit more rest and then come back stronger. But Stapleton again looking fresh. Another high kick from Smith. So Stapleton's going to be uh, seeing that belt get ever so closer and closer as the seconds tick on with this round. Ooh, that could have hurt both of them there. That was shin to shin. Those ones are terrible. Those ones are painful. Nice body jab. Smith seems quite fond of those little instep kicks. Nice jab, solid jab there. Again, he's really dominating this round again, Stapleton. Yeah, I think Smith seems to be a slight bit of a counterfire, but with, with Stapleton seem to be connected so much, it's not being effective. He needs to be first in the punch. If I was in Smith's corner, I'd be saying, you've got to be first. You can't be waiting, especially with someone of Stapleton's speed. You know, you're, you're at real risk of just being pointed. Outpointed, as it were, sorry. No, that's absolutely right. He's, uh, he's really got to start thinking about his game plan and how he's going to win this fight. Simply getting through to the end is not going to be enough. Oh, amazing low kicks. Stapleton showing a really nice uh, Muay Thai. Oh, another jab, he's been getting that jab. Oh, could have been a nice low kick on the end of that one. He's definitely sinking in with those jabs. I mean, uh, Smith's yeah. guard is, he steps, is quite low. Yeah, uh, and Stapleton's doing the right thing. He's stepping on that jab, uh, covering the distance, and he's getting it every time. Oh, nice. Oh, that was Shin to Shin again, I think. Didn't seem to face Stokes at all. I mean, I felt Stapleton's leg kicks first hand, and that's, and that's even with him wearing pads on. So, and uh, it wasn't nice, let me tell you. Oh, that one could have hurt him. He's squinting a bit. He's got a pad. He's got a pound. That has, uh, the that blood has is affecting him. I think it's affecting his breathing. Yeah, that's definitely Rock Smith as well, that shot, I think. Oh, his nose looks swollen already. More of that. Stapleton is in more of that. Another shot connected there. We see the fire yeah. in the eyes of Ashley Smith. It's like a bull sniffing, <laughs> sniffing out. It's amazing. This is exactly what it looks like. Oh, he now knows that he's got to finish he's this fight. He's got to finish it. He's got to go at him. But is it too little, too late? Oh, nice job. I mean, apart from a couple of takedown attempts from Stapleton, this has been a kickboxing match, and a kickboxing match that Stapleton has been winning. Ooh, swing and a miss. That's right. I think Ashley Smith is now throwing blind there. Yeah. Desperation, maybe. Yeah, I think he. I think it is that he's come to realise that if he doesn't finish, I don't think he's gonna stand a chance of winning this fight. Oh, nice low kick from Smith there. Oh, another left hook connecting. Nice high kick. Single shots now come in. That's one thing I noticed about Smith, is that he puts a lot of single shots rather than putting combos. And uh, whereas Stapleton, although he's been throwing the single shots, doing double jabs, a couple of two threes, and uh, mixing up a bit maybe, a bit more. Yeah, Stapleton's definitely showing better combinations. and. He's kind of like an SAS trooper. He's coming in, doing the damage, and getting back out again. <laughs> I don't think he'll appreciate saying that. Ra rather, he's saying like a Royal Marine Commando. Oh, of course, yeah. I forgot his background. Well, that'll be an SBS uh, <laughs> yeah. Commando then. Nearing the end of the fight.
Stapleton clearly, clearly taken. Oh, big swings and he's great fight. I think that was my favourite fight of the night Definitely, so far. Without a doubt, without a doubt. We have a winner for this Clash of Warriors British Lightweight title in a third round decision from Rochdale, England, Martin 50 Cal Stapleton. Presenting the belt is Freddy Nagazaya, our very own Clash of Warriors promoter. And Dean Amasia from UFC. Well, I'm standing here with our first Clash of Warriors British champion. Um, since the inception of the bill in 2007, it's been the aim to get better and better quality fighters onto the bill. I think you'll all agree you've seen sort of, uh, not one, but two class guys tonight. Martin, give me your thoughts about the fight. Uh, first of all, Ashley Smith, tough as they come. Hardest fight I've ever been in that. Um, I did exactly what my corner wanted me to do. They said, stay tight, stay composed. Don't go out there chasing him down and being wild because he's, he's got good high kicks and he's got power in his hands. So I just did that. I mean, it, it, it was a, a proper professional's fight tonight. I, I feel you felt you were bossing the fight, so there was no need to push it. Caught a bit of an ear in the second round, but other than that, I think you always felt like you were in control of it, yeah? Yeah, I felt like I was in control the whole time. Even with the knee, it was only, it was only a knee, it didn't hurt. Uh, he caught me with a knee and I was working for a takedown. It didn't hurt. Chris display a low kicking, mate. Really loved it. We want to see more of you. You're going to come back and defend it for us. Of course I am, yeah. Everybody give it up. Martin Stapleton, everybody. Thanks. Uh, can I just say uh, thanks to my sponsors, Cage Steel, Choke Out Poker, and uh, Sign Mentor. And thanks to my corner, my team, and everyone who's supported me, and my wife, and my brother, especially my brother. <laughs>